I'm a big fan. I'm a seriously big fan. So where we end up is here. Obviously that sounds lovely. There's another sort of variation of that drop which sounds like this. It's got some lovely vocals in it. What we're doing is talking through how you get these amazing minimal drums. Sub bass, we didn't really cover. It's just like a pre-made patch, but I've done this in another video, but that sounds like this. Uh, and then various vocals and so on. So stay tuned if you want to make some rollers sound a bit like this. If you haven't already, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. You'll be on the ground floor, right? We're nearly at a thousand subscribers, which is just going to be a small drop in the massive ocean that this channel becomes. And obviously you want to be here for the ride. Also, if you're interested in drum and bass music production, you know what I mean? That's basically what the channel is. Yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this video. I've basically just gone ahead and found a bunch of loops and samples and I'm just try and turn it into a beat. So what we have is a kick, this shuffly boy. We have this break, sounds good. This, we have a snare, a bit of a sort of a poppy boy. We've got these different hi-hats. Uh, we've got this other hat for the rhythm. We've got this little shaky guy, this, and then finally this. So I think what we'll probably start with is just the kicks and snares, because usually I do start with the shuffles, but let's start with the kicks and snares in this case. So obviously like that, and then we've got the kick, which is gonna go here, and then here, and then here. Right, so what we have is a really simple, I mean, that kind of slaps already, to be fair. Like, you don't always need to just over-process the shit out of your drums. Like, if you've got really good drum samples, you don't really need to do that much until you start, like, making sure that there's room for it with other sounds, but that in itself, I think that sounds pretty, pretty good. Snares, on the other hand, uh, we don't want as much low end as we've got going on. So we're going to cut some of that out. And what I always like to do is make sure that the groove is there before I start just over processing it. Because sometimes you can kill the groove when you do that. And I'm a groovy guy. Put that across. What else have we got? Hmm. I do like, I actually do really like that sample, but I just don't think it fits really that well. Let's let's just keep going with these others, see, see what magic we can create. So literally all we're doing at the moment is just cutting and pasting, and not even pasting, just cutting. That's got some nice sort of groove to it. What all that sound like, sort of like a bit of delay on it, just in like the very top end. I'm gonna turn off sync. That sounds pretty cool, actually. So one tip with hats is have almost have three hats. So you've got your rhythm hat, and then you've got your kick hat and your snare hat. Now, what that means is you basically just layer these. So you layer all the kick hats with the kick, all the snare hats with the snare, and then the rhythm hat is just kind of your number. So what we actually have is this. I always like my snare hats to be like a bit higher and a bit tighter. It just matches a bit, a little bit better. And again, just giving it a bit of variation. So honestly, guys, all we've done so far is we found kicks, snares, two little shuffles, some hats, and it's already starting to sound like a minimal beat. Now, this is where things get really cool because we're gonna basically give it its groove. To do that, you take one hat, which sounds like this. You turn one of them down, like that, and then you just duplicate it. Now listen to what happens when we add this in. And we can even like just sort of layer these other hats onto here if we if we want. So just to give it even more pizzazz. Now what's this? Uh, I wonder what happens if we put stuff like portal on it. Because it's already kind of got like this cool like glitchy vibe. So I'd quite like to accentuate that. And that's literally exactly what portal does. It makes stuff sound weird and glitchy. Oh, that sounds cool. I'm actually just going to record that into its own little channel. I mean, that sounds pretty good there. Oh, I like that. It's a bit, it's a bit loud, but it's, it gives it some nice sort of forward moving energy. I wonder what happens if we consolidate this and then 
put it to there's this cool thing where if you put it on transient and then the arrow that points to the right and then decrease it it shortens the the transient so you can like make it tighter i think we could do more interesting things with this i don't really want i don't want the snares so what, what do we actually have now what's this clap hybrid oh it's okay what else do we have? Space. Filter dub tech. I do like the sound of that. Stutter dub. I also like the sound of that. Oh, that's cool. It's a bit much. Let's turn it way down. Oh, actually, let's automate this. What? So what if we had it like, so it grew like that, and then like, maybe like faded out? I don't know. Cut out all this low. And also let's cut out the actual low of the sample itself. Oh, that sounds really cool. Oh, let's, let's, oh my God. I, I'm really liking this. And I just, I love it. I like, this is a sort of drum and bass that I just fucking love with a pure pash. Oh. So we're just gonna add in like these little tails. Feels a bit like low. Oh, I wonder what, I wonder what would happen if we just did the same thing that we also did with here as well. But I think, what if that was bigger? And um, maybe we want to copy that across. What if that just went all the way to there? Is there actually anything playing there? Yeah, let's turn that up. Let's cut out all this low end as well. I'm just going to put a bass line underneath it just to see what it sounds like. I'm just going to use a pre-made one that I've made before. Like, you know, just, just, I know it's our channel, but, you know, yeah, it's our channel. Wow. That's what I, that's what I deserve. That's what I deserve. Uh, let's put it in at like E. E. Heavy DMB bass line. I'm a big fan. I'm a seriously big fan. Uh, let's put a compressor on just to side chain out some of these kicks. Oh my lord. We've not even got through like all the fucking samples yet. And I'm already freaking out, guys. I'm freaking out. I do think one thing I am going to do is I'm going to duplicate these and then just take out all these effects apart from the EQ8. We've really, honestly, I'm actually quite amazed how much we've got done without really doing that much. So what have we got here? These are just gonna be little fills again. But this this one here kind of, that sounds really nice. It's just like little accents to this because on some of these we've got like one, two, three, four. This is just gonna be like one, two, three. Oh, and the ride, I forgot about the ride. So I downloaded Battery recently. You know, I make an unbelievable amount of money um, on YouTube. And one of the things that I've invested my huge amount of money on is, you know, some pretty affordable software. And one of them was Battery. So I, I've just been looking for samples, found this nice ride symbol, and let's see how it sounds. Oh, we've still got this. What can we do with that? I really like the groove that we're getting with this, this like delay thing. Yeah, love it. Love, 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 fucking love it. What's this? I think we could, I think we could probably use this. Maybe that's just that first one. This is like an accent to the general groove. Okay, so some of, some of the things that we are going to do is we're going to like put on some double sidechain compression of the snares and also of the kick just to so there's a bit of groovy groove. So if we take the ride, for example, I'm going to put it on the hat group as well. It's a bit too much of a low end in there, I think. Okay, cool. That sounds super good. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the glue compress these together just a tiny bit just so that they're like a bit more connected. You just see there. 
Uh, I'm going to put an auto pan on here as well, just so that it sort of like moves. It's going to be really, really slow and not, not even that much as well, but just so that it gives it a bit of movement across the stereo field. God, that snare sounds so good. If you want this snare, this is snare 28 of DMB Drum Zen Hisser from 2022 in either April or June because Americans do it in a weird way. This kick as well is from that same pack. It is the best drum and bass drum pack for minimal, in my opinion, that I've, I've ever used. And I've used a lot. Yeah, it's not, not my first rodeo. Uh, why am I like this? What we're going to start doing now is I want to start building this out into a bit more of a, an actual groove. We've not even been in Splice. I mean, I guess we found samples from Splice, but most of this is just perks and drums. Antelope Island. What the frick is this? Oh my God, please be like antelope sounds. Oh my God. That's really cool. Oh my God. No, I, this wasn't planned. They're like at the right tempo as well. I'm shocked. Like I can just layer these on top of it. I want to do that now. I, I just love it when this happens. Uh, right, so in the samples, we got this kind of thing and this. I can't, I can't go over the sample pack. Like it's ridiculous. This is like my favorite sample pack I've ever found. This is fucking unbelievable. Genuinely, I'm shocked at how good this is. It's like made the whole song. So you'll be happy to know that since I stopped recording yesterday, I've done little to zero work on this tune, apart from a couple of really tiny things, really, really tiny things. I did add, so on this bass effect where it's like got more high end, basically all I've done is I've just cut out all the low end and then added in an echo on a quarter dotted note. That on its own sounds like this. It gives it a bit of like kind of nice loosey goosey-ness. But I wonder what would happen if we put this. Oh, that's gonna sound cool. I mean, that sounds so good. That sounds so fucking good. Now there is a little change that I made here as well, uh, which is just I uh, basically remove one of the kicks. So sort of the second kick, remove the first snare. So it gives us this. Oh, there's another cool little thing I did. I added in this vocal. Which you don't really even hear. Yeah, that was the other thing. So I, I have this other little perk that I found, uh, which is this like snare perk thing. And again, it's from that awesome kit that I found. So it sounds like this. And it's just got a little bit of Valhalla and all the low end cut out. But it just gives it a bit more, um, a bit more variation. So these FX perks, we don't we don't actually need all of these yet. So I'm just gonna delete some of these out and then here onwards, we're just gonna have it on the first beat or like the first little bit. Uh, so this fill here can change as well. So we'll put in just these bits. Oh no, this is over here. Fuck. Well, that was an oversight. That was a massive oversight. Maybe we want like a kick in here as well. Do, do. I think that's basically gonna do it for this video. Um, obviously the intro and the outro and that kind of thing is probably where we wanna where we want to end up, maybe on the next video or something like that. But yeah, I just love where this is now. So I guess from the beginning, let's do that cool thing where we show everything at the same time.
So there we have it, boys and girls. Uh, obviously, the, the breakdown and the intro and the outro need to be done. I just wanted to make the main drop, really, which I think sounds pretty god darn good, if I do say so myself. If you haven't already, make sure that you do like and comment below. And of course, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. You know, we're, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers, guys. You, you want to be in the, the OG of this channel because that's, that's where all the cool kids want to be as well. So if you're not cool, then, you know, that sucks.